Hey there, welcome to The Hot Slice, the weekly podcast brought to you by Pizza Today magazine. I'm your host, Jeremy White, Editor-in-Chief of Pizza Today, and I'm joined today by Denise Greer, our illustrious executive editor. Hello, and happy St. Patrick's Day is the day we're recording this right now. I'm not wearing green. Uh, I'm not either. Not Please don't green. pinch me. <laughs> <laughs> that's the good thing about the pandemic is no one's here to pinch me. So okay absolutely <laughs> right. Your dog might bite you or something. I don't All know. right. Hey, before we get to the guests, we we got some pretty big news. We've got yes. to talk to the folks about. So you you wanna you wanna make the big announcement? All right, big announcement. It was it was it was um rolled out this week. International Pizza Expo 2021. Due to the ongoing pandemic, it had to be rescheduled yet again, and it is now set for August 17th through 19th, 2021 at the Las Vegas Convention Center in Las Vegas, Nevada, and we do think (laughs) and hope (laughs) that these dates are going to stick. Now, you know, look, things change minute by minute, second by second with this pandemic, Mm -hmm. um, restrictions on large gatherings just think everyone has been through this there are no surprises anymore it's it's a expect the unexpected curveball every yeah. pitch right so we're all kind of used to it yeah june just wasn't going to happen unfortunately no. the vaccine is rolling out i actually got my first dose yesterday as a matter of fact oh. the vaccine is rolling out things are starting to look up i feel really really good about August. I feel really good about August. I do too. You know, they're saying that we might be able to, you know, gather for the 4th of July. So, uh, so August, I feel great about the August dates. uh, And I cannot wait to be in Vegas with all the pizza people. It's just, uh, I'm so ready. You know, we're normally there in March. Yeah. It's like we leave kind of the last vestiges of winter in uh, Kentuckiana where you and I reside. Mm -hmm. And we head out to Vegas and we get our first blast of spring and yeah. warm temperatures and sunshine. And we're like, yes, spring is coming. You know, when we get back home, better days are ahead. Yeah. Well, now we're going to leave very hot, humid, blistering Kentucky in <laughs> the summer and go to an even hotter Blistering it's a dry heat, Jeremy. It's a Las dry Vegas heat. summer. We're gonna need a pool. <laughs> there <laughs> luckily, almost every hotel we're in, there are uh, you know, there are multiple pools. I know we, where we usually stay, there are at least three or four pools. So there will be no shortage of pools. And, you know, I, I think that we need to really, really advocate with uh, Bill Oakley to make sure that we have at least one or two events poolside. I, I just <laughs> think it needs to happen this year. If there is a year to have a poolside event, it is 2021. Are you saying a pizza pool party? I think. I think a pizza pool party sounds like the best thing ever. Honestly. That'd be so lit. I think the kids <laughs> oh, no. say that these days. Uh, I think the Jeremy, kids say you're not, lit. We're, we're over 40, dude. It's okay. Hey, <laughs> hat backwards. That's right. <laughs> I, I love the hat backwards. You can keep it backwards all, all day long. Um, so I guess no further ado. We should, we should get to our guest. We should get to Yeah, why not? Movie about our guest because he has a huge accomplishment right now. So who do we have on the show? Our guest today is Dave Dombrowski of Pizza Mia in New Lenox, Illinois. Dave is about to celebrate his 30th anniversary. I believe it's in July, this coming July. July. Uh, 30 years in business, Denise. It's It's huge. It's a big deal. Restaurants fail Every single day, restaurants yeah. go out of business. It's Especially just the nature of the beast. <laughs> and in the pandemic, absolutely. To, to, to be in business for three decades, really in any business, but yeah. in particular in the restaurant business, yeah. is simply amazing. Yeah. And, you know, after the year I had, a year we've all had, you know, it is so great to celebrate somebody doing something big and, and having this big occasion. Uh, so we actually get to talk to Dave about how he's going to celebrate that, uh, that big occasion. Cause you know, we want pizzerias to, um, you know, to celebrate those milestones, you know, let your customers know that you're doing these big things because, uh, you know, they're, they're worth celebrating. Absolutely. Um, hey, let's just get let's get to it. Let's get Dave on. All right, let's let's pop on. All right, here we go. 
Performance Food Service is proud to deliver high-quality products, innovative technology, and custom operational solutions to restaurants of all sizes across the country. The flagship division of Performance Food Group, with deep roots in the restaurant industry, Performance Food Service has been the exclusive distributor of the Roma family of brands for more than 65 years. This signature relationship has allowed Performance Food Service to become a leader in the pizza and Italian segment of food service nationwide. Figuring out how to do delivery right can be a daunting task, especially when it comes to third-party platforms, in-house delivery, contactless solutions, and POS functionality. Fortunately, the innovators at PDQ have developed the Delivery Toolkit app, a convenient single source that can measurably enhance all aspects of delivery while saving time, effort, and costs. Rooted in metrics, the multi-integrated PDQ Delivery Toolkit is a must-have resource for your store. Learn why at pdqdt.com or call 877-968-6430. That's 877-968-6430. Dave, you've been in business for three decades now. Um, you're not that old of a guy either, so you got started really young. That was two. No, I was, I was, <laughs> no, I was, I was 20. What, you know, you've seen a lot of changes over yeah. 30 years. The, the industry has changed immensely. Can you think back to when you first started some of the processes, um, the way things were done, and then think about how you're doing things now and just kind of walk us through some of the evolution that, that you have personally seen? Right. So I think uh, probably the biggest, the biggest thing is probably technology. Um, I mean, we were handwriting tickets for the first 10 years, eight, eight or 10 years, you know, and then when the first, uh, um, my, my first computer system I ever got was rapid fire. And I, I was like, I, <laughs> You know, for years I want I want rapid fire. That was like getting the Lexus, you know. And yeah. finally was able to afford the rapid fire. And I remember the first Friday using it. I'm like, yeah, this sucks. We're 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 going back to handwriting because there's no <laughs> way this is going to be ever quicker than handwriting. And it was just you know learning to use it and um, training. And then probably after you know the second week of having it in the store, it's like, oh my gosh, if this thing ever goes down, we're not going to be able to operate. And that's how it's been since. You know, like when the computers go down. You, I'd rather have the computers or the oven go down than the computers go down at this point. <laughs> so yeah. I would say technology and um, I, the other thing too, and I was thinking about this um, is I would say the payment, you know, it was 98% cash, 2% check or a little bit. And nobody, you know, I, I have my original menu still. And I just, I mean, as a, as a youngster, I always wanted to be like, Try, you know, the new guys doing stuff. And I remember putting the Visa, MasterCard and American Express logos on the menu and people would be like, that's kind of funny. You know, like who's right, going to yeah. pay with their, who's going to pay a pizza with a credit card, you know? And right. like, oh, I don't need to take it, you know? And I mean, I was processing, you know, like about $150 a week in, in plastic for years, you know, mm -hmm. just as like, oh, that's kind of cool to have. And he offers, you could pay with the credit card over there. It's kind of cute to pay with like that. But um, I would say those two things, the, the payment and, um, probably technology, you know, like the point of sale. Um, and then obviously online ordering now in the last, you know, five, 10 years. Um, that would be the biggest thing as far as, you know, procedures. Yeah. We've tweaked everything and we're fine tuning it, but I would say for the most part, we make stuff pretty much the same way, but probably just more, a lot more efficiently now. You know, it's so funny. You mentioned the payment. Um, I've been with pizza today for 21 years now and yeah. I can remember, and it was probably 20 years ago, I can remember writing an article about whether you should be accepting personal checks in your business. Right. When's the last time someone <laughs> tried to write a, right. a it's check? Funny. Not mean, a business, I, but, but I, a personal I check. It's still on my desk people. here. This is probably 20 years old. It's the stamp endorser for, you know, when someone wants to oh, check yeah. the stamp. I mean, I haven't, I haven't used this thing and it's, it's got dust on it, but I still have it. But I mean, on a Friday night, 20 years ago, you know, you're pounding away on these yeah. things. Yeah. Um, yeah. Now we get probably, we do still take checks and I probably you do. Just, I was going to ask wow. if you even and accept them because most you know, people won't that, even accept that, them now. Right. That older crowd that, you know, I'm, I'm still a check writer myself. I don't do any online banking. I'm, I'm, I'm a weirdo. I mean, I like to write checks out, mm -hmm. um, but we do take checks and I'd say probably, uh, you know, 10 a week is what we yeah. get. Wow. You know, it's the same wow. 10 people too. You know, it's like, yeah. I mean, you don't, you don't worry about <laughs> checks bouncing anymore because these are the people that, you know, they're on check number, you know, 8,055. It's not like they just got a checkbook and don't know how to use it. So That's definitely uh, still take the checks. 
I don't even know where my checkbook is. That's how sad <laughs> I am with checks. I, everything, everything is digital. Everything is an auto payment or, yeah. no, you know. I'm, I'm all about uh, notebooks and uh, pen and paper yeah. still. So when did you um, introduce online ordering and how has that kind of ramped up in the last, wow, we lost you. <laughs> there you go. Right. Um, that's okay. Whoops. Fix that. There we go. Um, online ordering probably, um, I'd say like 08 is when we started the online order. Wow, you were an early adapter. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. And again, that was, sounded like, um, oh, that's kind of fun to do. And it, it really wasn't popular for probably a couple of years, but mm -hmm. try to see if I can fix this a little better. There you go. Excellent. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So a good, you know, 10, 12 years at least. Yeah. And how has it changed? Like, especially as uh, it seems like everyone's kind of tweaked it um, now, especially with the pandemic to kind of really fine tune them and, and get them optimized. You know, how has your online order changed since since its inception? Um, you know what? I'm not a big promoter of it. Uh, mm -hmm. and, and it's the, the ordering process. It's, it's a little cleaner and it's easier to use. Um, and I know more and more people do use it. I think just for the simplicity, you know, the, yeah. the, the convenience of clicking, you know, you got the, your, your repeat order. Hey, this is the same yeah. piece of order, you know, click, click, click done. And they don't have to talk to anybody. Um, as far as changing it, you know, uh, it's pretty much been about the same way it, it operates same way, you know, and again, we don't, we're not a big promoter of the online ordering. I know there are some upsells on there. People, you know, the, POS does do some good jobs with uh, trying to upsell some other products, but for the most part, I would prefer the customer calling in. Yeah. Um, I would just for, you know, I would say 10, 15% of the online orders we get, we're calling back anyway, because it, they're placing the order incorrectly. They're, you know, they're, instead of actually clicking on the right ingredients, they're typing a message, you know, Oops. <laughs> uh, I want a cheese pizza, but oh, by the way, add on sausage, pepperoni, and green pepper, and then on half of that, do this. So, I mean, Again, we're calling the, what did you really want on here? Do you want that? Do you want this? Oh, no, no, I want this. And so yeah. there's a little time wasting going on with it. And then on top of it, you're paying a fee to process the order. Mm -hmm. Typically they're using a credit card. So there's a little bit of a fee there. Um, and then it just, it turns into more work anyway than an actual phone call. <laughs> I gotcha. So I'm, I'm not a, I'm not a big pusher of the online order. Yeah. Well, Jeremy, you know, he has, uh, he has hit a mark or he's about to hit a mark that very few restaurants in general, even, yeah. even aspire to even get to, you know, that, uh, you know, you're going to celebrate your 30th anniversary. Am I correct on that? Yeah. Uh, in yeah. July. July um, yeah. Wow. You know, what are, what are you doing to mark the occasion and you know, uh, what's, what's going to happen in July? Right. So, um, we're going to do, and we've done this for our 20 and 25 with a price rollback. So um, nice. we're going we're gonna to do pricing from 1991. For what was four, the pricing? <laughs> uh, well, curious. our large pizza was $8.45. Oh, wow. Um, so we're going to probably sell quite a few of those that week. Um, yeah. And then we're going to do, we have some scratch off tickets so you can win pizza for a year. Uh, we're going to give away, you know, t-shirts, uh, some other prizes, free food, stuff like that. Um, but the big thing will be that, that price rollback that week of uh, July 11th through 15th, I think it is. It's something like that. It's like a Sunday through Thursday. Yeah. Yeah. Well, make sure you get some media coverage for that because I think local media are just, yeah, absolutely. They're, they love stories like that. So just right. reach out and say, hey, yeah. we're celebrating this big anniversary and we're a big part of the community. And right. I think you'll get a lot of attention on that. Yeah. Yeah. People will get their fill that week for sure. Yeah. <laughs> so how many pizzas do you think you will sell during, during this 30th birthday bash as that, compared that, to a typical week? Probably f easily five times as many. I mean, we're only doing it on a Sunday through Thursday. You know, we're going to okay. take away the Friday, Saturday um, craziness, but um, yeah, easily, I would say five times at least on a, you know, on any of those nights. Oh, wow. That's amazing. You know, and it, I mean, we are, it, we are telling people no limits. So, I mean, I remember the last, you know, people are going to probably load up and which is fine. Great. Come on in and, you know, get the pizza, help us celebrate a little bit. And, uh, you know, it's good for everybody. Yeah, it sure is. Now, you know, you've seen, uh, as we talked about, you've seen a lot in 30 years, obviously in the industry, 
but you've never seen a year like last year. You've never seen a, a pandemic. Right. Right. <laughs> what, <laughs> what did that do to your business and how did it change your operations? Um, well, obviously being carry on delivery, we were in a great position. Yeah. Um, thank God, you know, we didn't have the, you know, big dining room or a rent to pay. Um, we never end up closing ever. Um, we shortened some hours up, um, contact. I remember, I remember still, this is probably about a year ago this month, you know, last March, maybe, yeah, probably about March. I remember getting the first phone call from a customer, you know, and the customer said, um, leave it on the porch. And I was like, what? Leave yeah. it on the porch. Yeah. What? Why? I'm like, oh my gosh, there's actually somebody, somebody, somebody actually got this in the neighborhood, you know? And, um, uh, now it's, it's a common thing, you, you know, no, yeah. no contact, no contact, you know, yeah. and a lot, a lot of people still get that, you know, even, you know, web orders, online orders, um, they're going to prepay it, pre-tip it. Um, and honestly, I think it's, that's actually worked out a little bit better for us as far as efficiency, you know, that now mm -hmm. we're, you know, we're sending out an order. Um, the, the driver doesn't have to worry about getting a signature for, and a tip, you know, yeah. Hey, it's a tips honor. I'm going to boom, run right up, drop it on the door, hit the bell back in the car. I don't have to wait at the door. I have to, oh, where's a pen? You know, yeah. we're definitely moving a little quicker. Um, surprisingly though, I, I would say deliveries, I don't think we're that crazy, uh, mm -hmm. probably as good, maybe a little bit better than typical monthly sales, but, um, it was surprising to see how many people were still coming out for their food. Um, the other big thing was, and then we have just a small carry up area, you know, mm -hmm. waiting area where typically, you know, there's probably seating for six, maybe we had to sign up on the door, you know, like no more than three or four at a time, you know, so there was a lot of people standing out on the sidewalk, you know, yeah. a lot of the time of the night, you know, and thank God, uh, weather was pretty fair this year. You know, we had a month or two where it was a little bit cold, but, um, for the most part, it was, it was pretty good for the people, but and they had a lot of patients staying out there because Fridays and Saturdays are definitely, you know, there, there's, you know, it's a 45 minute wait at least for, for food. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. And I know, I know that when I order pizza, if I go to get it, which that was a night out uh, during yeah. the, the peak of the pandemic, like, right. like, oh, I'm going to get out of my house and go drive and pick yeah. up my pizza. I'm going to be risky um, so, and go pizza, yeah. Yeah, so it's kind of like, that's your, that's your social time, <laughs> is getting right. out and standing in line for your pizza. <laughs> so, yeah. How um, has your employee situation changed over the year? I'm, I'm assuming in the beginning, you may have dealt with some timidity, some people who are like, yeah, I don't know if I feel like yeah for sure right now and yeah i would say uh when this all hit probably march um when we had that we when we shut down like right around this time it was st patrick's day last year when we when the yeah. shutdown came for restaurants yeah. and uh most of you know all the only essential places were allowed to be open uh, i would say there was probably maybe four or five six uh employees that you know parents didn't want them to work sure which mm -hmm. i understood i mean because everybody was still it was such an unknown thing yeah, yeah. and um and I got it, you know, and just for whatever reason, just, you know, people, you know, household members were, you know, maybe sick to begin with or older or what, whatever. Mm -hmm. um, so we did lose several people like that for, for a good month or two. And, uh, you know, I was had luckily that everybody else that was still there um, ended up picking up extra hours. Um, I had a, I got a great group of people that worked there. So it, it actually worked out fine. And then all those people did eventually come back. Um, yeah. For the most part, I think one did not, but yeah, um, yeah, it, it worked out good in the long run. Now, did it vary between your locations? Did it, uh, was it was one impacted more than the other? No, I you know no, I, I'd say no, but the same. I mean, sales were up at, at everywhere, and uh, I couldn't say it, it really nothing mm -hmm. with uh, actual location. No. Okay, that's cool. Um, you know, since we're on the subject of multiple locations, you know, um, it, you actually went at the franchise route, correct? On uh... I did, yeah, yeah. So my first store was in in '91, and then uh, I opened up another one in '93 on my own, and then uh, from there, a third one opened in '06, uh, and that's where mm -hmm. I'm at now in that one. And by then, I decided I'm going to try to sell some franchises. And mm -hmm. in, uh, I think it was 08 is when I sold the first one. Yeah. Um, 
and that was actually the second location that I opened. I turned it, I converted it into a, mm-hmm. uh, a franchise location to, I sold it to a, a, one of the guys that worked for me for a long time and uh, he took over that store. So that was technically the first franchise that was sold. And then um, I'd say like that same year, almost, it might've been the next year I sold my, my next one to an actual just stranger off the street, which was like my yeah. first legitimate, you know, franchise sale. And uh, he opened up, I think in 08. And um, mm-hmm. after that, there was one more that opened. Uh, I'm going to say, I, I don't even remember the year. I'm going to, it might've been like 15, 16, something like that. I don't remember the year. Mm-hmm. Um, since then, both those have closed those two franchise locations. Okay. For, you know, the one just never worked out. And the other, the other one that, that the guy that bought it in the <laughs> became sick and uh, had an end up closing. So right now it's just uh, that, location I sold to the, the guy that worked for me and then the one mm-hmm. I have right now. I got you. And I, um, I'm still, still out there, you know, um, I haven't pursued any more sales. Uh, but if it arises, I would definitely uh, think about definitely doing look like at that. it. Yeah. yeah. Now what, what's next for uh, Pizza Mia as, as you guys kind of go, you know, you're, you've hit that 30 year mark and um, right. you know, are you want to hold steady or um, you know, how do you, how do you vision for your company moving forward? Uh, well, like I said, I mean, it, I would definitely love to try that franchise, take another swing at that and, and get a few more. I mean, my ultimate goal, I, I never really, I never thought I was going to be Domino's. Um, my, my intention really was to just have five strong locations, um, that I could, you know, I I think after five, you're now you're bringing on more people to help you run the franchise. Um, five, I think I could do it on my own, still do some Mm handholding with that and and still be kind of a hands-on operator at my location. Um, so yeah, moving forward, I would say, you know, I would probably like to try to sell a few more franchises, get those going and, uh, teach someone else to be successful. Like I, I think, I think it's definitely a, a, a successful business model and it could be for anybody if they run it the right way. Yeah. Well said. So last question, are you going to be able to make it to international pizza expo in uh, August? Of well, I just was talking to Denise. Yeah, I, <laughs> yeah. was thinking, I was looking at the yesterday. I'm like, wow, June, I'm like, June's kind of a busy month. And then I just asked her, um, is that still on for June? And she just told me that it got bumped up to August, yeah. which actually August is definitely a better month um, for yeah. me sales wise to, to get out. So yeah, I would definitely, uh, it's been a good six years probably since I've been out there for yeah. that show. Um, so yeah, I think I would like to check that out again. Awesome. Yeah. So yeah, we just made the announcement this week of, of the date change. It is uh, this pandemic has been again, <laughs> unlike anything <laughs> we've ever seen. Right. And uh, things just change minute by minute. It feels like mm-hmm. yeah. I feel good about the August dates and yeah, look forward do. to seeing you out there. Yeah. It'd be awesome to see you. Yeah. Like congrats on the 30th anniversary that's coming up. That is a huge huge milestone is something you should be very proud of. You, I know, you know, the statistics that most restaurants fail within the first couple of years and right. so 30 years, not too That's many huge. people can say yeah. that they've been in the restaurant business for 30 years. So congrats. Yeah, thanks, Jeremy. Yeah. Congrats. Thank and make sure you tag pizza today in your, uh, in your social promos. Cause we'd like to see, see what you have going on on social for those. All right. Sounds good. So, that's great. Well, thank you so much for coming on the show. Uh, and we can't wait to, to watch what the next 30 years looks like for you. Yeah. All right, Denise. Thank you. All right. Dave, have a great day. Thanks for joining us, man. All right. Have a great day. Bye-bye. See you. Okay.